I'm Diane Macedo. We're coming on the air with breaking news of mass casualties after a mass shooting at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. Right now, police say one suspect is in custody. They believe this situation is now over, but multiple people are now being treated at area hospitals there again after a shooting there in the high school. I want to bring in our senior investigative reporter, Aaron Katursky, for the latest here. Aaron, what are you knowing, uh, learning rather about this shooting so far? This occurred at the high school in Winder, Georgia, about an hour north of Atlanta. We're told there are casualties, although the exact number and their conditions have not been made clear to us, Diane. One of the local hospitals we've been in touch with says they're treating at least one gunshot victim. So it does appear that at least one person was shot at this high school. And you can see from the images there on your screen, there are people gathered outside. The school had been put on lockdown. There were a number of emergency vehicles seen racing to the scene, uh, perhaps uh, ambulances, uh, helicopters as well. So it's still active, although, as you say, the, the sheriff in Barrow County, Georgia, confirms that one suspect is now in custody. Yeah, to your point, Aaron, maybe too early for me to call it a mass shooting, but multiple casualties after a shooting at that school. I want to bring in a former FBI agent, Brad Garrett, for more on that. Brad, what does this tell you now about where this investigation goes to have authorities reporting multiple casualties and a suspect now in custody after a shooting at this high school? Well, they have a lot more information to work with. It sounds very clear to me that the shooter did get inside the school. We didn't know that earlier. And so there's going to be multiple witnesses. If the kid is a student or former student, the students may know who he is. So getting to motive and is there any other thing connected, events connected to this event? In other words, are there explosives someplace? Is he the shooter? connected to anybody was there more than one person involved that's usually not the case but you just don't know do you check it out so you have to cover all your bases here you make the school safe and you make sure the community is safe based on what you learn about the shooter and aaron of course this is a story that will continue to unfold but what are you hearing so far about how this happened what are students at that school saying they heard and saw well the, there there were some reports of of hearing gunfire and we know that it's serious enough diane even though, even though the numbers have not been made clear to us that the white house says president biden has been briefed now on what's gone on at the high school there in Winder, Georgia. Uh, so the students are sharing information about what they heard uh, with, with loved ones. One grandmother we spoke to uh, says she was able to communicate with someone at the school via, via cell phone to, to make sure that loved one was okay. Uh, so we know right now that at least one person has been shot and is being treated at Grady Hospital, a level one trauma center in the area. And the sheriff says there are other casualties, though the exact number and conditions are not known yet. And we know one student has told ABC News that he heard what sounded like gunfire coming. He believes from the classroom next door that his teacher rushed to lock their door or at least close it and that the students huddled behind. They believe the shooter may have been knocking on that door asking them to open up. Uh, so still a lot of details to come out of what seems like a harrowing story right now. Again, what we know multiple casualties out of that high school, Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia, and police now say a suspect is in custody. They believe the danger is now over.